Hello, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Debbie Stamps. I am Debbie Mayfield, and I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Today I have for you this really cute Easter basket. I like to call it my Wicked Easy Easter basket because it just goes together so quick. It's very simple, and I am a New England girl at heart. I was born and raised, so I thought I would show you how to make this today. Isn't that pretty? And you can fit a whole bunch of goodies in there. And we're going to be using the Sweet Soiree. Sweet. It's a big mouthful. So it's right here. It's on page 10 and 11. And it goes over to 12 and 13. It's beautiful. Let me get that out of the way. As you can see, it looks like mainly cakes, birthday cakes, maybe a wedding cake. But I thought I would just use it for Easter because it is pretty and kind of flowery, bright colors. So today we're going to use the cardstock pack. The Ready Shreddy. We're going to use the DSP and also the Berry Burst Metallic Edged Ribbon. So let's get started. So to start, we need a piece of cardstock that is six by six inches, and then we're going to score it at two inches on each side. Just keep going around two inches. Very easy. Okay, so let's fold and burnish that. really been enjoying this occasions catalog and celebration. Celebration will be coming to an end, the end of March, March 31st, but the catalog will go through, I believe, May, the end of May. So there's time to get a lot of goodies. Okay, so now we're going to cut up two sides, two score lines, just like that. And what I try to do is I cut on one side of the raised line and then I'll go back and cut the other one off best I can like that. Okay, so you are wedging but you're doing it in a straight line. Well a fairly straight line. Okay, get that off. Okay, and just flip it and do the exact same on the opposite side. I've been making these Easter baskets, gosh I don't even know how long. At least five years I think. I just love to make them. They're so easy. And you can decorate them in a variety of ways. They're just really fun. Let's see. And there we go. We've got that done. Okay, and let's get that out of the way. Okay, now we're going to flip it over like this, and then we have six pieces of our DSP that is cut at 1 and 7 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. But before we stick these down, we're going to round the corners. One, two. This. We're going to go over here on the opposite end. Again, flip it over, the mirror image. Like that. And that. And then you're going to also want to round one corner of your DSP on four of the pieces. So they fit. Isn't this beautiful paper? Just love it. And it's... Since it's specialty DSP, it's slightly thicker than our regular, so it really stands up. I think you could actually make the basket with just the DSP if you wanted to. I'm sure that would work fine. Okay, so we're going to use our Tombow. See, see that back side? Isn't that beautiful? I just really like the bright colors. So I can throw that around the room. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's working. Okay, and you're simply just going to fit it into each block, leaving about an eighth of an inch border. Okay, and the ones that we did not round the corner will go in the center. Easy as that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah, I make at least seven of these every Easter right now because of my seven grandkids and we do have baby number eight on the way. Should know next week, hopefully if it's a boy or girl. And I can tell you, hoping for a girl. We have six grandsons and one granddaughter so far, so we need some more little girls in the family. So very excited. You can guarantee 
soon as we find out, I'll be going right to the craft store to get my yarn. <laughs> Gotta get going. I almost have a, a mental checklist of everything I make and do when I find out there's a new grandbaby on the way. It's so much fun. This is such a great season of life, I gotta tell you. We really enjoy our grandchildren. Okay, there we go. Easy as that. Okay, and now to put it together. These are just gonna fold up like that. So we're gonna put some Karen tape on the middle. Be a half inch down. Doesn't have to be too precise. Okay, let me do the same on the other side. I might actually have a little too much there. Let me rip a little off. There we go. That's what I like about the tear and tape. Okay. And now let's take off the backing. I'm going to do both sides at once. It's easier. If it starts pulling up, the tape starts pulling up, just press it down a little more. And then you can remove that easier. Okay, so there's one. Take that over. If you wanted, you could put some tear and tape right there, but I don't find that I need it. These are fairly sturdy. They hold quite a bit. Okay, just press that really well. And now we're going to repeat on this side. Okay. And again, press that down. See? Isn't that beautiful? Just like that. Now you could cut two more panels if you wanted for the ends here, but I don't think they really show that much, so I'm not really concerned. Okay, and now for the handle. Got another piece of cardstock. This is the Marina Mist cardstock, and this is cut at eight and a half at one and a half. And then I cut another piece of the DSP at, uh, this is cut at eight by one, so just a half inch smaller. And again, I'm going to use my Tombow. Just like that. Even okay. Let's give it just a moment to dry. Okay, and then we're going to put tear and tape on either end. So just like that. Tear that off. And again, tear that off. Easy enough. Let's press those down really well. Okay. Now before I take the backing off, I'm going to run this over my bone folder just to curve that a little bit. I'm breaking the fibers down on the cardstock. Just like you would if you were curling a ribbon. You can go from either end just so it'll bend without cracking. And that looks pretty well. Pretty well done. So again let's take off. See that's not wanting to stick. Okay, there's one. Now you can decide how far down you want to go. It depends on how long of a handle you want. I go just a little bit um, past the tape, if that makes sense. Kind of making it even between here. Okay, press that really well. And then repeat on the other side. See how fast this goes together? And it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's got quite the wow factor. Just press those really well together. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that DSP with that foil running through it. It's silver, beautiful. Okay, and for the ribbon, we're going to use the Berry Burst Metallic Edged ribbon. So just make a bow best you can. I struggle with bows sometimes. That's not too bad. Okay. A little bit. And I just tug and pull on it till it looks about how I want it. Okay. Doesn't look bad and I kind of puff those up by tapping on them. Okay. Tighten that down. Alright, now I'm going to use a mini glue dot to put them on. Let me get my paper piercer. You know I use that for just about everything but piercing paper. And that side looks the best to me. I think I like that. So the glue dot right under here. 
And then I'm going to center it here. You could put one on both sides if you like, but I like to have a front and a back. That way when I put the candies in, I know which way to face the different little chocolate animals, the bunnies and ducks and things. Okay, trim that a bit because we don't need that long. Bottom. Okay. Let's play with it. That's so brick. And now we're going to fill it with the Ready Shreddy. And that comes in the Berry Burst, white, and then it has the metallic the silver and white as well. And it doesn't take much at all to fill this. I think this will last quite a while, the Ready Shreddy. They had me just at the name. I thought it was so cute, Ready Shreddy. I had to buy it. Okay. And that Berry Burst just coordinates with that so nicely. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Just beautiful. And now let's see. I have some candies over here. I always have candies in my room. Just put a few in, like that, maybe an egg here, and let me see, oh, I've got the bunny too, just like that, and there is a wicked easy Easter basket, didn't take any time to put together, very simple, and if you'd like any of the supplies that I've used, you can always shop on my online store, there'll be a link in the description below, as well as all the measurements and materials used to make this. So thank you very much for joining me today, and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And you can always contact me at debbie.stamps with any questions, if you need a catalog, if you want to join my team. I'd be happy to have you, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.